What is up guys? It is your boy NC07 here. Welcome to another collection video. Today I'm going to be doing an update on my PlayStation 3's game PlayStation 3 game collection. So let's just jump right into it. But before we get to the physical stuff, I think it's first a good idea to go over the digital stuff I have, just because it's a little bit I feel like it's better to just divide it like that. So we're gonna go through my digital stuff first. So the first game, digital game, and I'll have pictures on the side of the screen, is Flow. So Flow is a game I heard about online and I tried playing it, but to no avail. Because if you don't know, Flow is an ac a six axis game. You have It's a motion controlled game. And this is the only controller I got, no motion controllers. So, I couldn't play it, but it seemed interesting, so there's that. Uh, the next game I also have digitally is Pain, which was like a downloadable game. Basically, it's a game where you launch, like you, it's kind of, it's somewhat like Angry Birds a little bit, where it's like you launch a character and you like just cause destruction and stuff like that. I played like a little bit of it and I personally didn't like it that much myself, but maybe I just didn't spend enough time on it, but it was just a pretty meh game, honestly. And then I have two uh, PlayStation Classics kind of games. Uh, first one is Persona 2 Eternal Punishment, because uh, that was a PlayStation 1 classic. Um, I did not play much of it. I'm I, Persona 2 is the only perso like mainline Persona game I've really not played at all yet. I haven't played Innocent Sin at all. Um, maybe eventually I'll get to Eternal Punishment. I played like a little bit of it, and I got lost, so I don't know. Maybe I just need to play a little bit more. I also had gotten uh, Persona 3 Fez, which is the PlayStation 2 classic. Um, I played, this is how I played Persona 3 my first time, but um, I honestly just, I didn't like it as much as I thought I would, at least compared to like, like Persona 4 and 5. I just felt like Persona 3 Fez was just, it was good, but I, I, I didn't really fall in love with it completely. But then Persona 3 Reload came out and kind of rectified that problem, so. Yeah, now that we're done with the digital games, let's actually get into the actual physical games. Starting off with Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So, uh, this is probably one of the more popular Call of Duty games, and this game's actually really weird on PlayStation 3. So, um, you, I, I think, like, if you're connected online, the game will actually freeze when you try to start it up. It's really weird. Maybe it's my PlayStation 3, but... This game freezes whenever you like start it up, so you have to like boot yourself, like you have to put yourself offline on PSN, which is really weird. I don't know why this is the case. If anyone else can tell me if the same sort of thing happens with this version of the game, I don't know. But Black Ops 2 is a good game, uh, but probably not that good on PlayStation 3. Then I've got um, the big one, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Um, the big one that everyone played. I have not played this yet, so I'll play it at some point. Um, yeah, don't know how good it is on PS3. And I got Darksiders 2. Um, the reason I got this game is because I got it for five bucks and a five below. Only reason I bought it. I, how good is it? I don't know. Consider it was five bucks, probably not very good. And the next game I got is Demon Souls, the original Souls game. Um, I played a little bit of this and it was actually not too bad, but obviously like the remake is on PS5 and it's better. Um, and I'm not like a Souls person, but it's like, I figured I'd get it because it's like, I mean, technically there were ones before this like Kingsfield, but this is like the first true Souls game. So there's that. <laughs> And I got, ooh, Epic Mickey 2, The Power of 2. Um, I do want to play through this game at some point, especially with, like, the um, Epic Mickey rebrush that, or repainted or whatever it's called, that remake they're doing, which um, I'm very excited for. I wonder if they'll do it for this game, but to be honest, if they do, this game needs a lot of work. Like, I, it's not awful, but it's just... It's not that good either. It's a it's a much it's an inferior sequel to the first game. But I never played the first game, but a lot of people didn't like it. And honestly, when I played this game, like I, I haven't played it recently, but the last time I played it, I did notice that it was it felt really unpolished. There were a lot of bugs and glitches, so I don't really know about this one. I should make a better stack for these things. We'll do that. 
Then we've got Grand Theft Auto 4. This was actually one of the first uh, games I got with my PS3. Um, I'm going to be honest, and this is a very hot take, I don't like this game. I think that, and maybe it's the PS3 version, but I do not like this game. It looks, it looks absolutely terrible on PS3. Uh, and I don't like the gameplay either. There's no checkpoints in the missions, which can make the story mode really annoying. Um, I didn't even finish this game story mode. I was going to, but like, I, I, I didn't like it. I, I didn't like it. I'm sorry. I mean, the story was good, but like... The gameplay was not that good, honestly. I'd rather play the PS2 games, honestly. Or just play GTA 5. And I, this is actually a cracked case. Yeah. And this is from Amazon, too. Yeah. Only physical copy of GTA 5 that I have, and it's destroyed. I don't know. But GTA 5 is a good game. Um, I don't really play it that much anymore, but really fun time. I actually have beaten the story mode for this one. Um... I mean, GTA 5 is such a fun game, and it's, the story mode's not that hard either, so. Everyone's played it too, so, yeah. Then we've got uh, the Gran Turismo game. So we got Gran Turismo 5, which I played a little bit of. Um, I mean, honestly, I'll just lump them together. Both Gran Turismo 5 and 6. I played more of 6, but um, both these games I haven't played that much of. I don't honestly care too much for these games. I mean, they look really good on the PlayStation 3 hardware, like PlayStation 3 hardware, but I just never really got into these. I think, I feel like the controls are what put me off, but I, I don't know. Maybe I just suck at them. You know what? That's probably it, but they're still good games. So there's that. Then we've got I'll just throw these two together as well. I got a lot of, like, game... I got a lot of two games from, like... I don't know how to describe it the best, but, like, I got a lot of games... Like, two games per series for PlayStation 3, so... I've got uh, two Hatsune Miku games. We got uh, the first Project Diva F game, and then Project Diva F second. Um, I played F second. I played all of the songs on easy on this one, but I could not play it on normal. I'm not good at rhythm games, so... And the PlayStation 3 controller is not my favorite controller to use. Um, so yeah, it, 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 I was trying to like go for finishing this game, but I, I couldn't. I mean, I finished them all on easy, but that doesn't count. Call me, call me a noob. Call me, get, call me skill issue or whatever. But I just, I, 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 I mean, I like these games, but it's just, I don't, I'm not good at them at all. So there's that. And then I've got two Hyper Dimension Neptunia games. I've got uh, MK2, and then I've got uh, Victory. I've played Victory for like a few hours. This one I haven't played at all. Um, I, what I played at Victor uh, Victory, it was okay. It wasn't anything, I mean, it was all right. It was just kind of whatever. I didn't really get into it, but I mean, I'm, I'm sure these are fine games, so there's that. <laughs> Sorry, I can't add more. Then we've got Killzone 2. I want to play this at some point because uh, I've heard this game is really good. Um, yeah, surprising we haven't gotten any new Killzone games, but that's probably just because Gorilla is too busy with Horizon at this point. But I don't know. It would be cool to see maybe a Killzone game on the PS5. That'd be kind of fun. And then I've got the PlayStation 3 version of Minecraft, and it's. Minecraft. I mean, I, and I will say right now, the legacy console versions of Minecraft are way better than whatever Bedrock version they have out now, like easily. But yeah, I like this game. Um, it's pretty good. I mean, it's Minecraft, so yeah. Then we've got uh, Motor Storm Pacific Rift. I'm gonna try to play this game at some point because I heard this game was also uh, pretty good. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't really have much to say, and I haven't played it yet, but I've heard it's good, though, so there's that. And then we got another duo of games, so we've got um, the two Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventure games. So I've actually played through most of this one. I have not played this one yet. I don't know how good this one is, but I played this on, like, 3DS, so it was okay on there. But this game, eh, it, it's not really that good, if I'll be honest. It's just kind of boring, if I'm going to be honest. Um, this is when Namco was trying to, like, change Pac-Man and, like, revive him. Kind of like what Sega did with, like, Sonic Boom. Um, it didn't work. Very clearly, the design, it, it didn't work, but... 
I don't know. And then we've got um, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. This is actually another one of the first PS3 games I got alongside GTA 4. Um, I never played much of Persona 4 Arena. I never really got into it. Um, but it's a good game. So there's that. I wish I could add more, but I really don't have much to add. And we got the PS3 version of Persona 5. Um, I played a little bit of this. Um, it is the worst version of Persona 5. So there's that. So... I mean, there's no reason to play this at all anymore, unless you're genuinely just that curious. Because you can play Persona 5 Royal on everything now, so no point in even really getting that. Then we got PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. I want to play this game at some point, because I really want to see how decent the game is. I know a lot of people don't like this game, but I want to see for myself what it's like and see whether or not it's that bad or if it's actually kind of decent. Um... Yeah, because I know, like, people didn't like it, but, you know. Oh, no. What are you doing, cat? This cat keeps screwing things up. Go somewhere else. <laughs> Jeez, thanks for, thanks for ruining the video. Now, we got a bunch of Ratchet and Clank games. So we got a Crack in Time. I have played a little bit of this. I do want to play through the PS3 Ratchet and Clank games. And I also got Into the Nexus, which I want to play through this because this game's like five hours and it's still good. So there's that. And then I also have Tools of Destruction. Uh, I want to play through this soon as well. I want to play the Ratchet and Clank game soon because I want to try and go through more uh, PlayStation games this year in terms of like going through my backlog. I want to go through more PlayStation stuff. And then I've got Rayman Origins. Uh, this is a good game. I've actually had this on a couple different systems i had it on wii at one point but then i sold it and then i had it on my xbox one through 360 backwards compatibility digitally but i don't have that xbox one anymore or that uh account so i lost it so yeah this is my third time getting this game but um this is a good game really good i like legends more but still a very fun time then we got Saw. Um, this, I played a little bit of this with Jackson, and it was actually... Apparently the game's not that good, but I thought it was okay. But there were some parts of the game where you need, like, six axis, and it's like I mentioned before, I don't have motion controls on my PS3 controller, so no bueno. Then we've got Sonic 06. Oh, Sonic 06. I have played through Sonic Story in this game. I played through at the end of last year, and... Uh, Terrible game. Terrible game. I, I, I really... I, I, I can see what they were trying to do with this game, but it's it's not good. It's The controls are awful. The game doesn't look that hot. Uh, it, it's, it's not that good. Now, if you want a good Sonic game, Sonic Generations. Absolutely spectacular game. Even if this is the worst version of Sonic Generations, depending on how the remaster turns out, um, this is one of my, this is probably my favorite 3D Sonic game. So much fun, so good to play, but I don't play it on PS3 anymore. I play it on my Xbox Series S digitally because it plays at 60 frames on there. But even despite the PS3 version being the worst version, it's still good. It's still Sonic Generation. It's like amazing, amazing game. And we've also got the Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection, which... Uh, I haven't played much of this, but I do, like, I've heard it, it's actually a pretty decent collection, because I got, like, a lot of Genesis games on here, including some Sonic games. It's actually, like, really good quality, so, um, you might want to check this out if you're interested in, like, playing some more Sega Genesis stuff. And we got Sonic Unleashed. I never got into Sonic Unleashed. I played up till the first Werehog section, hated the Werehog section, and never played the game again. Maybe I need to just give the game another try again, but I, I didn't really care for it too much, honestly. I mean, it's not a bad game, but I, I, I'm i not into the Werehog gameplay. I'm sorry. And then I got South Park, The Stick of Truth. I played a little bit of this, but I I, I never watched South Park. Sorry. Um, I played like a little bit of it and I didn't like completely understand it. I probably need to just play more of it, honestly. Or maybe play like, Fractured Butt Horror, whatever the new one is. I don't know, but this is still a good game, though, so there is that. And then for the last game, The Orange Box. So this is how you were able to play Half-Life 2 and 
uh, TF2 and Portal on the PS3. Five games in one. Um, yeah, I, I haven't played too much of this. I have played a bit of Portal on this, um, but I haven't really, like, I didn't beat it on PS3 yet. Um, but it's all right. It's a good collection if you want to play, like, the Valve games on uh, PS3. So there's that. And, uh, yeah, that's all my PS3 games. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I may have gone through it a little quickly. I'll be going more quickly through other PlayStation collections because I got a lot of PS4 games. Once we get to that system, I'm going to probably have to be rushing things crazy. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys thought of the games I have in there or what games I should maybe add to the collection sometime in the future. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching the video up there and I will see you guys next time. Peace out and take care.